This is John Leak with Historic Homeworks and another report from the field. I'm at the Campbell Preservation Center where I've been demonstrating maintenance materials and methods. Some of the subject we covered involved window repairs and maintenance. This is McKee Hall on the Preservation Center's campus. Here at window number 110, I've set up some demonstrations of different materials and methods. On the windowsill, I've done wood epoxy repairs of weather checks. Weather checks are the deep cracks that develop in horizontal wood surfaces when they don't have uh, good paint coatings on them. And here I've filled the weather checks using wood epoxy repair methods that are described step by step in the book Save America's Windows. I also demonstrated sealant methods and materials. Here the wood sill has about a 3 8 inch gap before it meets the stone sill. And we have filled that with a couple of different materials. This is Alex sealant in this third of the joint. And then I use Sonoborn NP1 in this third. And as a control, we're leaving the joint unsealed in this third. So watch for documentation on this side-by-side -side comparison field test at historichomeworks.com over in the discussion forum on Windows. Also on this sill, I've left some of the window checks here in this uh, eight inch section of the sill unfilled and I'll use some traditional materials, linseed oil and ordinary putty. In this case using Sarco type M window glazing putty to fill these weather checks. So this will be another side by side comparison field test of wood epoxy repair methods and traditional materials filling windowsill weather checks. My method for filling those weather checks is to first prime the inside surfaces of the weather check with linseed oil. This is American market boiled linseed oil. And I'll just run a bit of that linseed oil in every one of these weather checks. And you'll notice I'm not brushing it on with a four inch house painting brush. I'm being rather careful to get the linseed oil just in the weather checks. I slop a little over, but I try and minimize that. This is essentially the same method and procedure we usually use with epoxy consolidant. So this will be a test of materials, not methods. This is Sarco Type M window glazing putty. And I've thinned that down to a mayonnaise consistency with boiled linseed oil. Same boiled linseed oil I used to prime the weather checks.
So just like in the wood epoxy repair method of weather check filling, I'll first apply the thin down putty into the weather checks. Now you can see that as it turned out, as I was applying the boiled linseed oil into the weather checks, it actually ended up getting slopped over or soaking over onto the wood surface of the windowsill. My goal was to just apply it in the weather checks, but it ended up crawling back out and soaking in. All right, now I'll just pick up a bit of that straight glazing putty and work that into the weather checks. I'm pressing down pretty hard with my flexible putty knife. And this stiffer putty is pressing the softer putty that I applied first deep down into the narrowest recess of the weather checks. Now, I'll do one last stroke that will wipe any extra putty off of the surface of the windowsill and still leave putty in the checks. So that's the whole process. Now I'll let that cure for about a day and uh, come back and apply oil-based alkyd resin primer to the whole windowsill. You can find the documentation for this side-by-side -side comparison field test at historichomeworks.com over in the discussion forum in the Windows section. Also, be sure to check out the Campbell Center for Preservation for all of your preservation trades training needs.